Hello everyone, this is Virmer, my name is David, and with this video we are starting a series of videos about equipment maintenance. Please note there will be a different kit for each machine. Today we're talking about CO2 laser machines. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, let's get started. Consumables Reflecting mirror the quality of the delivery of the laser beam through the optical path depends on this. Watson machines have a three mirror system and each of these three elements should be checked regularly and replaced if necessary. This is because the materials emit smoke and soot during operation, which contaminates them. Belts and toothed pulleys. Our next focus is on the machine's drive system. Watson machines are fitted with reliable 3M belts. They remain virtually unstretched throughout their working life and last longer than their counterparts. But because these belts and pulleys are always in motion, it makes sense that they will wear out over time, like a mountain washed out by water. If you suddenly find that the dimensions of parts are becoming blurred, the machine is shaking at corners and the equipment itself is cracking, check the condition of the belts. It might be time to change them. Lenses. The focusing lens also needs replacing from time to time. It is often damaged because it is only protected by the compressor. Water. The cooling system, which is necessary when using the laser machine, circulates water. It's replaced every three months. The use of distilled water is mandatory for the correct operation of the machine. Additional. To clean your lenses, you need wipes or cleaning sticks, always lint-free, and special cleaning agents, isopropyl alcohol or technical acetone. Maintenance. Optics. Let's start with the reflecting mirrors. These should be cleaned with a cotton bud soaked in alcohol or acetone. Wipe from the center to the edge with a rotating motion. Now, how to clean the lens? First, you have to get all the dirty laundry out of the drawers. On Watson machines, this process is quite simple. First, disconnect the air blowing hose. Press the blue ring and pull the hose without letting go. Second, unscrew the hose and nozzle. Third, now unscrew and remove the lens, taking care of not to damage it. Make sure the tool fits into the ring so you don't scratch anything. Wipe it clean in the same way as the mirror and replace it, screwing it firmly. The 4 inches lens goes on top, the 2 inches lens on the bottom. Make sure the convex side is up and don't forget the seal. Alignment Firstly, we recommend an alignment check every two weeks. Over long periods of operation, distortion of the optical path is a matter of the quality of the alignment and careful handling of the machine. Therefore, it is better to detect the problem in advance than to spoil the material. We have explained exactly how to carry out the alignment process in details in this video. Follow this link and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Guy Rails Maintenance should also be carried out every two weeks. First, move the laser head all the way to the side. Second, clean the guide rails completely of dirt and apply silicone grease. Third, move the head from the left to right several times to spread the grease evenly along the x-axis. Very important, apply grease to both sides of the bearing. Blades or Anikan table. This is our workbench and, like any other, it will get dirty over time. If you have been working with plywood, fabric or paper, this dirt can be easily removed with warm water and with a degreaser. You can use a dishwashing liquid, for example. 
The table of a small machine can be soaked directly in the bath for one hour. For a large machine, you will need to find an industrial bath or you can dip it in different size and weight. If you're working with plastic, you'll need a few heavy weights. Motor cleaning fluid can help. Your covered table will be as shiny as new after 30 minutes. For moderate soiling, you can also use oven cleaner. But do not try it on a thick layer of dirt. You will waste too much time and money. Acetone and white spirit are only good for light soiling. There are also other methods, but you cannot do them yourself. Take it to a car wash, for example. We recommend cleaning the table at least once a week. By the way, we have a separate video about the Onicon table, where we tell how to use it and give your tips and tricks. The waste container is also worth mentioning. Do not forget to clean it. Exhaust. If you don't want to drown in dust, you'll need to clean the hood regularly. Switch off the unit. Detach the corrugated tubes from the hood. Clean them and then the hood itself from the inside. Done. Chiller. We will be making a separate detailed video about the chiller and its failures, so subscribe and stay tuned. In the meantime, we will tell you how to change the water in it. Switch off the chiller and place it on a platform, for example, on a chair or stool. Unscrew the cover labeled drain and drain the liquid into a container. Fill the cooler with fresh water. Caution, the water must be distilled. Then close the drain cover. Make sure that the laser tube is completely filled with water before switching on the machine. And no bubbles. Here's our list and we come to the end of the line. Remember that the condition of your consumables will affect the overall performance of any type of machine. Broken focus and ruined materials are some of the things that can result from poor maintenance. Don't neglect it. And don't forget to carry out regular maintenance to keep your machine working for as long and as well as possible. Subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't miss the next video in our series. This is Virmer, my name is David, see you next time.